welcome back to Kitchen Close-Ups at the Mechanicsville Branch of Monkey Regional Library. I'm Miss Cindy. And I'm Miss Carolyn behind the camera. <laughs> Today, this is our third installment of Kitchen Close-Ups. We are going to be making energy balls today. And what you're going to need for your energy balls is peanut butter, yummy, honey, chia seeds, vanilla, oatmeal, dry oatmeal, and chocolate chips. If you don't want chocolate chips, you can use raisins instead, but we opted for chocolate chips. You'll also need a bowl to mix it in. This isn't going to require any cooking. Um, you'll need a spoon to mix it up with, and we're going to blenderize the oatmeal. So you need a blender or a food processor. I just have a little tiny one we're going to use here to make it kind of like flour, powdery. Um, so that's what we're going to do first. You're going to take your oatmeal. You need one cup of that. And I'm just pouring over the bowl in case I spill. It's not going straight into the bowl. One cup of oatmeal, and you want to pour it in your blender or food processor. Let me move that bowl out of your way. And just chop it up till it doesn't quite look like oatmeal anymore. This might be a little loud. It's getting there, but it needs another another few seconds. show you about see not exactly like flour it's a little chunkier than flour but definitely the pieces are much smaller than when they start off as oatmeal there all right I'm gonna move the oatmeal to the back since we've done that already move this contraption to the back all right go ahead and dump your um, blenderized oatmeal into your bowl oh there's some stuck in there here we go and you're gonna need one teaspoon of chia seeds right there you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla and we go with that you're going to need a third of a cup of peanut butter and I already scooped ours into our cup here and it's pretty sticky. You'll have to kind of dig to get it out with a spoon or a spatula. And you never get it all out. Just do your best to get as much as you can so that you have peanut butter in your energy bar, energy balls, energy balls, not energy bars. Um, and the reason these are called energy bar balls, I can see them on me, is because um, Peanut butter and oatmeal and chia seeds all help give you a lot of energy. It's a nice, healthy snack when you want a little extra energy. Now the last thing, no not the last thing, two more things. We're going to put in honey. This takes three tablespoons of honey. Tablespoons are the bigger ones than teaspoons. And I am just going to use my finger to scoop that out. One. Here, the project, the better it tastes. That's right. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Can't be scared of a little mess. All right. Mm. I love honey. And our chocolate chips. These are mini chocolate chips. We've made these before with regular sized chocolate chips, and that work, works fine. The mini ones just distribute the chocolate chips throughout your ball a little bit more. And like I said, you can also use raisins. We're using a quarter cup of whatever kind of chips or raisins that you want. There we go. And once everything is in the bowl there, these up so we, don't fill them. we are just going to mix it up. We're going to stir. And at first it might feel like, oh, that's not really mixing, but you just keep working on it. And if I had another spoon, I could scrape this down with a spoon, but I'm just going to use my finger. It's not the one I licked. It's a different one. All right. And keep stirring. You want to get all that 
oatmeal powder mixed in with that peanut butter. And it's got to kind of use those muscles a little bit. It's going to make a sort of stiff, sticky, sticky, kind of almost pasty like substance. It's a dough, really. It's kind of like if you're making cookie dough. That's about the consistency you're looking for chocolate chip cookie dough. And when you think you have it all mixed up, stir it some more. Stir it a few <laughs> more times. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turn it over and make sure there's nothing at the bottom. You don't want any loose powder down there because the, the oatmeal doesn't taste good plain. It only tastes good mixed in with the other things. All right. And then once you've got it kind of mixed like that, what you're going to do, that's about right. Mm -hmm. You're just going to get a scoop and make it into a ball. Now, they're a little sticky when you first make them. You can store them, like put some saran wrap over them or something and store them in the refrigerator and then they won't be quite as sticky. But they taste the same whether they're cold and a little more solid or if they're sticky and you eat them just like this. And I don't remember how many balls this will make, maybe 10, 10 or so. And you can make whatever size you want. You pick a good size. And you're just going to roll your balls out. And then after you've got them all rolled out, you can try one right now. Should we try one? Yes, one? yes. Let's see how they are. Mmm. Delicious. Enough that I need one. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the fun part about doing these kitchen close-ups is we get to sample the food. Who knew? We wouldn't let you guys try to make anything that we haven't already tested. That's right. And determined is delicious. Mm -hmm. You like them? Delicious. Delicious. All right. Mm. I hope you guys enjoy making your... Energy balls. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.